Hey everyone, Lara from Fairy Fox Design here, and spring has sprung. It is gorgeous outside here. We're starting to see not just the very first flower, but some of the real flowers of the spring coming out, and I'm, I'm loving it. In face painting, we often fall back on the flowers that we know, whether it's the one-stroke roses or the little five-petal double-dipped. I mean, there are those few flowers that you see them everywhere. But the floral world is an incredible world. Go into a florist shop and there are so many different flowers, so many different choices. And so this design is great because it takes a riff on some of the techniques we already know and we use all the time, but it lets us blend it into a new flower. We're just gonna spritz our sponge really quick and I'm loading right in the middle of my cake. I like to think of it as the warm half of the rainbow. I just wanna make sure that the model is comfortable while I tap in this color. And so anytime you get a little bit of a squinch like that, it's just good to talk them through it, let them know that it's okay to relax. You can even lift the forehead with your finger a little bit to get rid of some of those wrinkles. Laying your sponge down is a really nice way to try and even that up. Now I am getting the center of our blossom ready. So we are just putting in all the yellow that that sponge has to give and we're keeping it centered right at the eye level and up. This is such a fun design because it lets us get a really big flower. So I'm loading up a half inch angle brush and I want to use the same colors that I used on the exterior of the butterfly. So here we wanna pull one really long line and we want it to angle just a little. And then we'll just pull some nice scoops and go across but it's more than just the upper wing. We want that little hint of a bottom wing there. So big curl, big curl, and then giant curl down to the corner and a little flick. And then I always love to flip my brush if I remember and put in that little bit on the inside. I think it's really pretty. And then I have such a hard time wasting any of a load. And so it's really nice to come in and just add a little bit more. And so you can see this is all just setting the stage. So here I'm loading up my petal brush and I want it to be super creamy. But then we're just getting this um, dark pink that again is the same color we've used. And so it's a really great way to keep consistency throughout your piece. Getting symmetry on this large of a flower is a little tricky, especially if the kid moves. This is going to be the outer row of our petals. And so you can even have like a couple twin petals like that one. We're just working for overall symmetry here at the end. If it takes us a little while to get there, that is just fine. But you can start to see we have this cute little flower coming out. I love it. I always like making sure that I have a really healthy load when I'm doing petals. I think it's so sad when you see a beautiful flower that's already started to wilt. <laughs> now, we want to envision a smaller circle right on the inside of this big circle. Do a row of petals right around on the inside. And this one will be a lot easier because we have kind of a ring border on the outside already. And <laughs> you have to love the dancing eyebrows. That is a kid's favorite way to torture a painter, right? Now, I don't want a lot of greenery, but it's going to help us cool it down just a little. We're not looking for balance, we're just looking for support. And the leaves are what support the flowers. That is what makes the flowers food. And so putting some leaves in there really is gonna take good care of our little flower in case it gets hungry. I love using a smaller leaf brush. It just lets me really kind of fill things in and if I want it to be bigger, I can do it again. And I love to tuck them in behind over on our little wings. And then over here in the corners, I like to have just a little bit of green. So I'm mixing it up and I'm spreading it out. So now we've loaded up some dots and these dots are gonna help us to just add in the whimsy, to add in the magic. We want to try and capture the non-realistic elements. And so by playing with the light, by playing with the white colors, we're being able to capture that. So let's add in a couple swirls. We want to make sure we feel free, feel free to add whatever beauty we can. And if that's in teardrops and swirls, then that's what we're gonna do. These little dots will let us get any bit of wobble and make it go away. Honestly, flowers aren't perfect. And so by having the ability to let the imperfection lie, it's going to breathe something so beautiful and lifelike into this design. This mica powder is so beautiful. 
and it just turns any paint into metallic. Even over on the cheeks and everything, this is just the warmth of the sun. And then we can add in some harsher glitter on the wings to just liven this up. Now I'm going down a brush size, so I'm adding this little starburst right in the center of our little patch just to add, again, a magical flare. And then I wanna add a little bit of detail work onto these wings and that will give them a little bit more noise. And I feel like it just is the added bit of texture that this design really needed. Now, I know how much little girls love makeup and I know how much I love makeup. <laughs> and so it's really fun to get to put eyeliner on a little kid if they are ready and if they feel comfortable. I love to do the eyeliner in white. It gives the kids that makeup feel, but I also feel like I'm being really kind to the parents <laughs> because this is gonna have to come off. And you can see that this little princess is just ready to go frolic. I love it. And I hope that you feel the inspiration to design your own designs, use this design, but really have fun with the flowers that are all around us. So let's get painting.